Chef Buck here, and today we're going to cook up some marshmallow bars, some marshmallow treats. It's going to be like Rice Krispie treats on steroids. First thing we're going to do is we're going to toast up some coconut and some pecans. This is a special treat. We're going to slide them in the oven, just get them toasted up, and you don't want to do anything else while you're doing this because you want to keep an eye on them because pecans are ridiculously expensive. As I always like to say, you don't want to burn your nuts. Oh. But there's one thing we can do. It is going to take a few minutes to do that. So we will risk buttering our dish. But I just took a little bit of butter out of the fridge and I'm just going to go ahead and spread it around and butter up my dish here all along the sides and whatnot so that Lord. my little treats don't stick later. There you go. Camera girl is making some oohs and ahs because she thinks I got too much butter. Too much butter, who ever heard of such a thing? So we got our dish buttered up, now we'll just wait for our toasties to finish toasting. Yeah, unfortunately, camera girl has been distracted too many times. Yeah, that's why I'm mentioning about watching your nuts because she did burn a batch of pecans the other day. God, so we it had to hurts. run out today and uh, get a new bank loan so that we could buy some more. <laughs> it was sad. Toast up a few minutes. I'm going to go ahead and take the pecans out because these are toasted up enough. I'm not going to risk it. We're not going to burn our nuts. So we're going to be cautious with our pecans, but I'm going to go ahead and stir my coconut up and put it in for one more minute. We've got a little bit of color on here, but I like mine toasted up a little bit more. You know, toasted to taste. So I gave my coconut one more minute. So now we got the toasted parts all set. This is a, a recipe that, you know, you're not going to fool with for very long. You know, it's going to be kind of time sensitive. Once everything starts to hit the pot and starts melting, you know, you're going to be under pressure. It's going to be a, uh, a Mission Impossible Fallout. Is that the new one? It's going to be a Tom Cruise marshmallow bar situation. <laughs> so you want to have all your stuff together because you're not going to have a lot of time for fooling around once you get going. So we're going to put our heat on kind of medium, medium low. Get our pan heated up a little bit. It's not going to take much time at all. In fact, since my butter that I have displaced is already soft, I'm going to go ahead and throw it in here. Let this melt up a little bit before I throw my marshmallows in there. You know, I really like these treats, but I kind of feel bad about the marshmallows because we all know that marshmallows, this, hey, this hey. isn't an actual food. My butter's got a little bit of head, so I'm going to throw in my marshmallows. Now we're going to start stirring these around. Your marshmallows are going to start to soften right away and you want to keep stirring them. And we're going to throw our ingredients in here. We're not going to fool around. I got a little bit of vanilla. I don't know why I'm measuring this. Got my cinnamon. Boom, boom. Stir that in. Nice. All gooey, chewy. And I'm going to throw a bunch of cereal in here. I got some bran flakes because we want this to be healthy. I got some corn flakes. And you put whatever kind of cereal you like in here. And I got some granola. And I'm doing a little bit less. Like a camera girl, I think she put four cups in here last time. And I'm just doing three cups of cereal. But you can adjust that. Adjust the amount of cereal and make it as chunky as you like. Alright, so I'm throwing in my nuts and my coconut. And we just want to stir this around. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and get it off the heat. My marshmallows already melted up, so I just got to coalesce everything together into a gooey mixture. And that's all there is to this. We're just melting up the marshmallow with a little bit of butter, throwing in those few flavors and all these chunkables and stirring it around. We're just going to throw it in this dish here that I already had buttered up because you can't be fooling with it right now. You don't want to let this marshmallow harden up because it's going to be more difficult to fool with. Now once I get everything mixed up and get it out of the pan and in the dish, then the pressure's off. In fact, you kind of want to take your time once you get it to this stage. It's very sticky, but if you give it a few moments just to firm up a wee little bit, it'll be easier to uh, manipulate. Chef just Buck, like I was mani manipulated oh. when I was... See how that spoon is sticking on there if I try to smash it down? So that's too soon, so I'm going to go ahead and wait just a few moments. While that cools down, I'll go ahead and start cleaning out my pot here. You can do this with a metal spoon. This stuff will come up. And then the end of the spoon just goes in your mouth like this. Hey, what about your help? <laughs> I've got one spoon. Okay. Let's see, once it cools down a wee little bit, 
then you can mash it a lot easier. And even though it's gonna cool down, it'll still be very malleable. But that's it, we're gonna let it uh, firm up a little bit before we slice it. So it's all firmed up, it's been sitting around for a few hours, most of the afternoon. Because we've been doing sit-ups, push-ups, you know, getting in shape so that we can devour this. But you want to give it plenty of time to firm up. And that'll make it a lot easier to slice and get some nice clean pieces out of here. Which really doesn't matter, but you know if you're going to take it, take it over to somebody's house for a party or something. You know if you get lucky enough to get invited to a party. This is like an advanced tic-tac-toe. Get your knife, bloop. Pop you some pieces out. Oops. You could build a house with these, I think. Don't plan on having a conversation over a pan of these. What happened? Part of it disappeared already. Yeah, they disappear fast. I can hardly talk. My jaw is so tired. You know, these things really taste fantastic, but it's a definite workout for your uh, lower mandibular. Now, this is pretty unattractive. I mean, this dish here definitely is a distant runner-up in a beauty contest. Now, if you wanted to, while it was still in this dish, you could go ahead and melt you some chocolate and drizzle some chocolate on there, and it'd make it real pretty. You could definitely uh, jazz it up by using a more colorful cereal, or you could put some M&Ms. In here, you know, some different colored M&Ms for a little bit of chocolate flavor. But we're just gonna throw some maraschino cherries on here. But look at that. <laughs> Boom! How about that? <laughs> Who's ready to go to the fancy dress ball now? <laughs> Looks like a very important button. All missiles ready to go. <laughs> maraschino cherries. The lazy cook's friend. Ding! You can print this recipe. MyFoodChannel.com, go over there and print all our recipes. Thanks for watching, liking, and subscribing. Hit that thumbs up button, buddy. This is the uh, marshmallow bar cam. It's very exciting.